Hi everyone, I'm Regina Carlo, Dean of the UNM College of Fine Arts, home of the departments of music, art, film, digital arts, interdisciplinary arts, theater, and dance. The University of New Mexico sits on the traditional homelands of the Pueblo of Sandia. The original peoples of New Mexico, Pueblo, Navajo, and Apache, since time immemorial, have deep connections to the land and have made significant contributions to the broader community statewide. I honor the land itself and those who remain stewards of this land throughout the generations. I'm grateful for and committed to every opportunity to further strengthen the College of Fine Arts relationships with the native communities of New Mexico. I want to take this time to say how proud I am of each and every one of you. It is surely an understatement to say that these 10 weeks have been challenging, but it is completely accurate to say that in spite of the brutal reality of COVID-19 that all of us had to face, you found a way to get not only through the end of the semester, but to the end of your degree in a way that honors you, your peers, teachers, and your families. Your own resilience and drive to make, teach, and perform helped you find a way to reimagine live performances, recreate art venues, reconstruct your student teaching experiences, revise your thesis interview protocols, and reinvigorate your artistic voice. You, the fine arts graduates of 2020, have sung, played, danced, and acted virtually, created new online venues for art shows, made tremendous movies from your phones, and some of you have even incorporated your family members and pets in your final choreography projects. You and your peers are part of a global class of 2020 that have learned to strive and flourish in an unprecedented time in our world. No, this was not the semester any of us bargained for, but you, the class of 2020, has finished with honor and achievement. I know you are all grateful to your families and friends, your support network, the friends who pushed and prodded and laughed and listened, strengthened and sometimes strong-armed you into staying with your fine arts degree. I say special thanks to parents and families for your belief in the value of an arts education and your dedication to your graduate and for all the sacrifices of time, money, and emotional support that went into making this graduation. I also want to thank the faculty and staff in the college for giving so freely during, not only during this crisis, but in every way, every day to our community of artists. Most students come to college and graduate school with a dream and a bit of an idea how they'd like to grow as artists. Faculty, staff, and community mentors see and nurture that potential to help students move beyond what they thought they could do. Students, I know you'll find a safe but significant way to honor and thank the mentors and teachers who helped you finish your degree. And now, graduates, this virtual celebration is designed to give you a sense that your final semester is actually over, that art matters, and that you've accomplished the impossible. And for you to hear some well wishes from your department and your dean. And while I know it's not the same, we've tried to make it just a little special. We've created a downloadable and printable program for you with your name and degree plan. Our marketing team has arranged for each of your names and degrees to scroll via a video on a link on our website. And to make up for the fact that graduate students will not be hooded by their advisors, the college has purchased proud fine arts graduate hoodies for all graduate students and commemorative t-shirts for undergrads that say, I'm a proud graduate, UNM Fine Arts. They're waiting for you in the College of Fine Arts office and check the website for instructions on how to pick up your shirt. Paul Cezanne once said, the most seductive thing about art is the personality of the artist himself. You, the graduates of 2020, are filled with rugged artistic personality. You've worked hard, made great art, music, dance, film, theater, and you're ready to show the world who you are. A post-COVID world will need artists more than before. And while it may take a while for us all to get back on our feet with art making as usual, please don't quit. Remember, you know how to be creative in the face of unprecedented crisis. And while you may have come through our doors oh so many years ago alone, 
you're not leaving here alone. You've been an active and brilliant member of a vibrant artistic community. Hang on to that unique personality, as well as your memories of being in community with other artists. And remember, in the language of Lobos, inside of each of us resides two wolves. One is evil, filled with anger, envy, regret, arrogance, guilt, and resentment. And the other is good, filled with peace, joy, affirmation, humility, and benevolence. Which one wins? I say it's the one you feed the most. On you go, graduates, sending you all best wishes. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you are the one who will decide where to go. Congratulations, class of 2020. Let Dr. Zeus guide you on your next part of your life's journey. As the chair of the Department of Art and in the name of our faculty, let me assure you how proud we are of your perseverance, your dedication and your hard work. That is what brought you here today. And we hope that all of your work and focus also came with lots of fun and with a great love for the arts. Please take that love with you and let it continue to show you the way to your dreams. We know dreams don't come easy. To continue with Dr. Zeus, I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang ups and hang ups can happen to you. Bang ups and hang ups, they're happening to all of us right now. We wanted to celebrate this day together with you. And while we do so in a new format and manner, it cannot replace us coming together and celebrate you. Yet I continue with Dr. Zeus. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three quarter percent guaranteed. You have risen to a challenging education. It might have changed your minds about some things and you might have discovered new ways of looking at life. That will always be with you and will allow you to go on even if there are bang ups and hang ups. So congratulations, class of 2020, you have succeeded indeed. And with this, I would like to celebrate in particular our Department of Art Covington Road Senior Prize winners of 2020. The winners are Carlos Gabaldon, Emma Söbel, Elliot Lee Herrera, Lucas Suniga, Veer Kalsa. Congratulations. You are an immensely talented group of artists we can't wait to see your work continue to grow and shine. And see your work, we can, on our website. So please go check out the virtual exhibitions posted on the Art Department website. Cherish this day with your family and friends, even if this might mean through computer screens and over the phone. You have shown what you can do, and do you will. We all count on you and cherish your accomplishments with you. Congratulations, graduates of the College of Fine Arts, and particularly congratulations to our visual artists, art historians, and art educators from the Department of Art. Congratulations to the film and digital arts graduates of spring 2020. We have loved teaching you and learning from you. Now, I'm honored to announce our three prize winners. Firstly, the Gus Blaisdell Memorial Award in Critical and Creative Writing goes to Zelda Deeds. Beloved faculty member, Gus Blaisdell, encouraged and appreciated original and incisive prose. And the prize that bears his name is awarded to a student whose writing meets his high standards. Zelda Mercy Deeds, 
a multimedia, multimedia creative based in Tijeras, has just completed her Bachelor of Arts in Media Arts. Zelda's studies were centered around avant-garde and experimental filmmaking, though her professional film experience has been in editing and post-production. Aside from her secondary outlet, writing, her additional professional experience ranges from graphic design and branding to promotional videography and event coordination. After graduation, Zelda plans to continue working as an assistant editor, but a significant portion of her time will be spent laying in the sun, hanging out with her dog, talking to plants, and making art house 16 millimeter films that will never see the light of day, all from the safety of a remote outpost in the forest. Our next award is the Michael Costello Memorial Award for Service. It goes to Enrique Cruz Torres. In tribute to alumnus and employee Michael Costello, this award is presented to a student who exemplifies the spirit of service to other students, faculty, and staff. Enrique Cruz Torres is a first-generation Mexican-American student graduating with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Interdisciplinary Film and Digital Media while simultaneously pursuing a Master of Business Administration. He served as the Lobothon Marketing Director, Southwest Film Center Executive Director, and Chair of the Cherry Reel Film Festival, as well as co-founding the Albuquerque Film Society Reel Club. Enrique is excited to join the film industry with his company, Historia Productions. Lastly, we have the Movie Magic Producer Award. And it was won this year by J. Keenan Wallace. Entertainment partners, owners of Movie Magic Budgeting and Movie Magic Scheduling Software, sponsor this new award for UNM's Outstanding Student Film Producer. St. Louis native J. Keenan Wallace is graduating with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Interdisciplinary Film and Digital Media in three years. He was a part of creating The Real Club, represented UNM at the Deadline Hotspots New Mexico Conference, and took on several crew positions for multiple capstone film projects and the department's summer 2019 Drifteen production. Jay worked as a videographer at the College of Education and served as a faculty assistant for the set design and construction class. In the future, he plans to produce comedy films and eventually become a professor and mentor to future students. Many congratulations to our prize winners and every one of our fantastic film and digital arts graduates. My name is Eric Lau and I'm the chair of the Department of Music at UNF. On behalf of all the faculty and staff in our department, I am so excited to congratulate all of the 2020 Music graduates. While I know this is not the graduation any of us had planned, please know that we in the Department of Music are cheering you on as you take your virtual steps across the stage. Your friends and family have been a huge part of your journey, and I know that they are just as excited for you even if we can't gather in person to celebrate your achievement. We have missed seeing you in our classrooms and hallways these last weeks, but your spirit and energy are inspiring to all of us. As you move forward in your careers, I hope that you will stay in touch, keeping us apprised of your successes and achievements. We are so proud of all of you. Congratulations to the class of 2020. It is also my privilege to announce the Department of Music Awards for 2020. First, the Presser Undergraduate Scholar Award. This award is given annually to an outstanding music major at or near the end of their junior year. The award is based on merit and achievement and is intended to recognize excellence. This year's recipient is Andreas Landstedt. Andres Landstead is a pianist studying with Professor Falco Steinbach at UNM. He has placed in and won many competitions in his home state of New Mexico, including the MTNA competition and the Jackie McGeehy Young Artist Competition, the latter of which awarded him the opportunity to perform as a soloist for the New Mexico Philharmonic. Landstead has also participated in several festivals in Germany and Italy in the summers. While his primary focus is on solo works for the piano, Landstead also takes on collaborative efforts with vocalists and instrumentalists and chamber ensembles. He plans to continue his piano studies well beyond the undergraduate level. Congratulations, Andreas. The second award is for the Outstanding Music Education Student. 
This is awarded to the top performing graduating senior in the music education degree. The student is recognized by the music education faculty as equally outstanding in their academic performance, in their performance skills as a musician, and in their potential as a music educator. This year's recipient is Ian Davis. Ian graduated from UNM in 2019 with a bachelor's in music education degree. He now works as the assistant band director at Tony Hillerman Middle School, where he teaches jazz and beginning band. Passionate about world drumming curriculum, Ian co-teaches the world drumming curriculum to both children and adults through the UNM Music Prep School. Starting in fall of 2020, Ian will be teaching the world drumming curriculum at Tony Hillerman, which will be the first time it has been offered in the Albuquerque Public Schools. An avid performer, Ian plays in Bopsky, a local jazz quintet, as well as in the comedy polka band Zoltan and the Fortune Tellers. He also enjoys yoga, baking, and is the host of the popular comedic culinary podcast, I Choose You. Congratulations, Ian, and congratulations to all of the graduates of 2020. Congratulations to the class of 2020. It's such a shame that we can't be together right now, but I'm thinking about all the rehearsals, the classes, the discussions, all the productions on our stages where we were together for the last three and four years. We've done a lot together in this program and in this department. Trips to Austria and Edinburgh and New York. Wonderful things have been happening since you've joined us in our department. So congratulations and enjoy the day. Hello everyone, my name is Regina Chavez Puccetti and I'm the Faculty Advisor for Interdisciplinary Arts. It is my honor and privilege to congratulate our students who are completing their degrees in the BA in Interdisciplinary Arts. Let's congratulate Natalia Ankowitz, Paul Billman, Anna Greenwich, Jasmine Lyons, Logan Monroe, Desiree Romero, Jesus Trujillo, Michael Ruman, and Avery Wolf. A hearty and heartfelt congratulations to you all. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jennifer Lucero and I am the director of the College of Fine Arts Advisement Center. It is my pleasure to present the 40th Annual McCray Award in College of Fine Arts Outstanding Seniors. The award was established and named after former CFA Dean Donald McRae and is often referred to as the Senior Prize. Students who have graduated or are pending graduates for the current academic year and have at least a 3.5 cumulative grade point average are invited to apply for the coveted award. Each academic department within the college, including art, film and digital arts, music and theater and dance, then choose their own outstanding student who is interviewed by a committee comprised of faculty and graduate students. From there, they select the one overall outstanding senior for the McRae Award. Each student will receive a monetary award as well as a plaque. Additionally, the name of the McRae Award recipient is then inscribed on a plaque that is displayed in the College of Fine Arts Advancement Center in perpetuity. After all each students have been introduced, I will then announce the McRae Award winner, just like the Academy Awards. I will begin in alphabetical with Helen Barber. Helen is graduating with her bachelor's degree in music education, instrumental concentration, and a designation in honors. Throughout her time at UNM, Helen has been involved in organizations around campus, from the Lobo Horn Club to the UNM women's rugby team. She has explored a variety of performing opportunities through the Duke City, as well as opportunities to teach music to kids. In her interview, Helen happily shared the joy that teaching music to her little horn players gives her. Helen hopes to become a teacher here in Albuquerque so she can continue her dedication to developing strong community connections and support for every student she serves. We hope Helen is tuning her own horn right now at achieving this great honor as the candidate for the Department of Music. Congratulations, Helen. The next outstanding senior is Madron Matishak. Madron is graduating with a BA in Dance, Contemporary Concentration, and a minor in Arts, Leadership, and Business. She is currently interning with the City of Albuquerque Public Art Urban Enhancement Division and is interested in the intersections of performance and public space. While at UNM, Madrone has had the honor of working with professionals in the field of dance, both through the university and the community, and had the distinct opportunity to present a self-choreographed solo at the South Central American College Dance Association Conference. Upon graduation, Madron would like to engage in arts advocacy and dance professionally. 
Madron is also very eager to return to performing with her fellow dancers as soon as the world will make it able to do so. Congratulations, Madron. This brings us to Wyatt James Jackson Potteroff. Wyatt hails from Deming, New Mexico. He is a surrealist painter, a desert dweller, and one who relentlessly questions everyone and everything. His paintings examine extreme aspects of life and are guided by a principle of creating experiences that demand the viewer's vulnerability. They are executed in an array of mediums that include oil, acrylic, spray paint, dried grass, and bone fragments. His work has been exhibited in several galleries that include UNM's John Summers Gallery, as well as Site Santa Fe. During his interview with the committee, he shared some of his pieces, and it was clear that he was deeply influenced by his upbringing in Deming, but is also consistently evolving and as his experiences in the world grow larger and larger. We know we cannot wait to see where his art takes him next. Congratulations, Wyatt. The next outstanding senior is Jay Keenan Wallace. Jay is originally from St. Louis, Missouri. His degree is the BFA in Interdisciplinary Film and Digital Arts Production Concentration, and he's achieved magna cum laude honors. At UNM, he helped create The Real Club, represented UNM at Deadline Hotspots, New Mexico, and served on several student committees. He worked as a videographer at the College of Education for two years, is a teaching assistant for the set design and construction class, and has several crew positions for colleagues' capstone film projects. His goal is to produce comedy films and eventually mentor future students of the craft. Jay learned at a young age that there is a magic in making people laugh, and he hopes that his comedic films will give the world a great, big, much-needed chuckle. Congratulations, Jay. The College of Fine Arts wants to wish a heartfelt congratulations to all of the candidates on their accomplishments. They truly represent the best of the college with their innovative, creative, thoughtful, and inspiring art, as well as their personal journeys. Congratulations, Helen, Madron, Wyatt, and Jay. It is now time to announce the winner of the 2020 McRae Award. For the Department of Music, congratulations, Helen Barber. Congratulations, Helen, on this amazing achievement.
Ooh.